he's just a different cat. <clears throat> when you talk to scouts, that's what they say. Well, yeah, he's a different cat. He led Georgia to back-to-back -back national championships. That's what Todd McShay said the other day about Stetson Bennett during the NFL draft. And, um, hey, listen, it's been quite a run for Stetson Bennett. And I don't really know how to describe him in any other way. I think he's a different cat. That's exactly the way that I would describe Stetson. There's reasons why. He's obviously very confident. And, and was confident before he achieved success. Uh, Stetson knew he could do it. Um, and he benefited from tenacity, uh, I guess a willingness to continue to do things over and over again, uh, even though it wasn't necessarily going his way. It's a tremendous amount of mental toughness. But when you listen to what Todd McShay had to say, he's sort of dismissing uh, what a lot of people call Stetson's quirkiness or what they just don't like about him. Um, you know, when, when you listen to folks uh, talk about Stetson who are being critical and say, well, he's arrogant. Uh, you know, when you read the, that, that, that's, that's what those quotes from folks in the NFL were about, you know, hey, you won the national championship back to back. So what? You know, when you walk into the facility, no one's going to care about that. And they, they won't. I mean, but, but, You know, we should never compare people to to Tom Brady because Tom Brady's not. There's nothing normal about Tom Brady. Okay, there's nothing. The guy, I think he eats avocados for dessert. Like, like that's. There's nothing normal about Tom Brady, and nothing normal about his ability to win. I mean, he passed uh, Michael Jordan in terms of the of you know American lexicon in winning. So that's you know that's not. We're comparing anybody to, to Tom Brady is probably a mistake, but there's a certain amount of, I don't know if arrogance is the right word, but there's a certain amount of uh, belief in oneself. I don't, I don't know what the difference, there is, there's a difference between arrogance and believing in oneself. Um, but anyway, I think Stetson certainly believed in himself the entire time, and he was able to take that belief and really succeed. Now, it, it, belief alone is not going to get you there. You got to do work too. I mean, like, and you have to have physical ability and all these things. The things that people sold or, you know, sold on Stetson's wrong. The, the, the thing that people got wrong about Stetson Bennett was they didn't understand how athletic he was, how gifted a thrower he was, certainly how good a runner he was. With Stetson without the running ability is not the same quarterback. So he's just, he's just not the same person. So that's really the biggest thing to me is he was oversold by critics because of his size and so forth. Uh, you know, there is no prototypical person for the NFL anymore. That, that's gone. It's been about, I don't know, probably 15 years, but certainly 10. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's all faded away. You know, when Michael Vick came in the league, a left-handed guy who, I mean, could just run. I mean, if people don't understand how well Mike Vick could throw the football. I mean, I saw that. Like, there are two moments I will never forget in watching all this stuff. When I saw Matthew Stafford throw a football, in person, like live at a practice, and Michael Vick throw a football live and in a practice. Those are memorable things because it flew off of Vick's hand. I mean, it was just whap. So, you know, with 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 Stetson, you're talking about a situation where there are no parameters anymore. Can you go get it done or not? That's the question still because that's the question with all these quarterbacks. Um, maybe less so with Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud, but. I mean, there's plenty of questions about all those folks. But when you say, oh, he's a different cat, yeah, he is. The family is. These these are folks who have, you know, Stetson's grandfather walked to a scholarship. Uh, well, he didn't have a scholarship. He, he walked to the only place that he could play football. From If you've not read the story that I wrote about Stetson Bennett and his family, you're missing out. I am giving away five double dogs to anyone who signs up for our newsletter. It is the only link below. 
five people will get this. I, I will choose it randomly. I, I don't, but we're gonna pick it from the email. So sign up now. It doesn't cost anything to sign up and then you'll get all of our you know, newsletters every, you know, it's usually five days a week. Sometimes it's seven during the season, but every single day you'll get it delivered to your inbox. You know, you won't have to worry about going to the site. Oh, I forgot to go and read all the brilliance that Matt, Dean, and Ryan are writing these days. No, you'll just get it delivered to your mailbox. So uh, sign up today and by April 15th, uh, excuse me, May 15th, we're already in May. By May 15th, you'll get double dogs. Uh, you have the opportunity to get double dogs, one of five people. Again, now the background of Stetson Bennett should not be forgotten. All right, now the the, the grandfather walked from Stetson University, uh, walked from Florida to South Carolina, where he was the league rushing uh, leader for the year in the SEC. Well, at the time in the ACC, uh, went on to be an extremely good coordinator, etc. It's, it's just not normal. There's desire there, so that's in the blood. You know, um, obviously the parents have been successful owning business, businesses, plural, in South Georgia, uh, you know, and a gifted family athletically. Uh, the father walked on at Georgia, uh, at Georgia uh, Southern, and, uh, you know, it wasn't for him over time, which I don't blame him. But, uh, you know, so the genes are all there, you know, and I think... What, what Stetson accomplished at Georgia is never going to be forgotten. But you can't, like, you don't get the swagger, for lack of a better term, without, or, you know, everybody said that Jake Fromm always had, uh, I forgot the, the term, uh, moxie. Uh, you know, well, I, people, people use these terms, swagger, moxie, um, you know, whatever. But the, the fact is, it's just attitude. You know, it's, it's, it's attitude. It's a mindset. It's a I'm better than you, whether you realize it mindset. And people, people don't like that. Like, there's a lot of people that just don't, they don't care for that. And they're, they're not wrong in many aspects of these things. Um, but, you know, Kirby's got that for sure. No question. No question. Watch one of his press conferences. And tell me he doesn't have an attitude, an edge, a uh, moxie. I, I hate moxie. That's just not a great word to describe people or their attitudes. Uh, it's a, it's, it's a, it's not well used, I should say. But uh, there's an attitude. There's an edge. There's a, you know, there was a time when the WWF had the Undertaker as a cartoon character, and then there's a time when the WWF had the Undertaker, you know, throwing. Get, throwing Mick Foley off of uh, Hell in a Cell. There, that's the difference between having an edge and having an attitude and just being someone who's sort of normal, right? Uh, Stess is very competitive, has been for a long time, and I, I do I do think he still is finding his way. Frankly, I just this is just my opinion. I do not know Stetson Bennett. Um, he's 25 years old. You know, he's still trying to find his way in life. He's older than a lot of people that are doing this. He's older than almost everybody doing this except Hendon Hooker, but he's still trying to find his way. And if you say, well, he's a different cat, Tom McShay is exactly correct. He is definitely a different cat, Stetson. There is no confusion. I want to make perfectly clear. He is not like everybody else. He's just not. And um, I'm not casting judgments that that's good or bad. He is not like normal people. He is not common, Stetson Bennett. And he's done uncommon things, and which was Chad McShay's point. Hey, man, this guy, no, of course he's not common. He's not a normal cat. I mean, if if someone could have led Georgia to back-to-back -back national championships, uh, you know, they'd have done it already. You don't think Jake Fromm would have liked to have done that? Or Matthew or David Green? They didn't, though, right? And so... The part of part of this is is the the acknowledgement that Stetson is one of a kind, and because of that situation, you're going to get quirkiness, attitude, edge, whatever it's called that you like. You're going to get that with it. Now, in a way, everybody's different, right? We're all different, but 
he's different in so many ways that it really does break the mold. And, um, I mean, listen, I've been covering him in one form or another since 17. And I, I actually do remember the first practice watching him because Jake Rowe said uh, something about Stetson throwing the football. This was a practice in early fall 17. Uh, early, well, it was middle August probably. It was not the first practice. But, you know, then, you you know, yeah, you'd notice this guy can really, like, chunk the ball. But there's nothing normal about Stetson Bennett as it relates to a lot of this stuff. He's done something no one in this draft has done. And he's done something no one in college football has done in the last decade. And very few people before that have done it. Just A.J. McCarron. It's not a long list. Now, I don't know if A.J. McCarron's a normal person. He's got that weird tattoo on his chest. Does that count? So, some of these guys are quirky and weird. And, you know, everybody, a lot of people in the NFL, they do have an edge. Everybody does not. Like, you want to tell Ben Jones he doesn't have an edge? Or you gonna talk to Thomas Brown, you know, about he has an attitude? Hell yeah, Thomas Brown has an attitude. It doesn't mean it's a negative thing. Question if Matthew Stafford has an edge. I mean, these these guys have that. But, you know, Matthew was not quirky like Stetson is, I don't think, in, in a lot of this stuff. Aaron Murray was 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 is quirky still. The, well, I'll, I'll leave it like this. A lot of these guys, it occurs to me, you know, these guys kind of are nerds in a way. They're dorks. But they're just dorks for something that a lot of people are really into, which is football, professional football specifically. I mean, Aaron Murray was really into it. And that's what made him such a great college quarterback. Stetson was about winning. He was about doing what had to be done to win. He was not a conventional quarterback. He was not conventional at Georgia. There was a lot of unconventional stuff. He frustrated people at Georgia sometimes. I know that he did. And so, you know, when they say he's a different cat, that's probably a nice way of saying that. But he got it done. And that's all that matters. Thanks for watching.